Donald Trump wants as many Americans to die as possible. And let me show you why. First of all, how is it possible that every single country in the world on planet Earth got the virus under control within two to three months, while we're still peaking? Thousand deaths a day, five million cases, 195,000 Americans dead. It's so sick. Donald Trump wants it this way. He knows that the more people die, the more fear, confusion, and hopelessness and grief. This is how he won the 2016 election. Look, he's pushing hydroxychloroquine. The side effects for this are just, they're lethal. Causes extreme heart arrhythmia, blood and lymph system disorders, kidney injuries, liver failure. The hydroxychloroquine is like the Jim Jones Kool-Aid. And they're taking it, a medication that does not work for coronavirus, and is retweeting conspiracy theories and this and that. And in desperate times, they're gonna believe him. The CDC doctor, Robert Redfield, saying the vaccine's not gonna come out till the second to third quarter of 2021. And Donald Trump is going out disagreeing with him, telling us that a vaccine's going to be ready in, coincidentally, a week before the election. Although now he's just backpedaled on that and said that it's actually going to be ready in April, which is still not true. Which brings another question. Trump withholding a vaccine until the election? So you're letting thousands of Americans die just so you can be the hero who magically comes up with the vaccination and saves the world so that they vote for you again. Although what's interesting is, oh, Trump gets tested every single day for coronavirus. And you heard him in the Woodward tapes. He's frightened of the virus, but he doesn't care if you get it. In fact, he wants you to get it. He sees the death toll going up and he likes it. And look, Dr. Burks, gone. Dr. Fauci, gone. I don't, I don't ever, I never see Fauci on TV anymore. He was the voice of reason. Now, I don't know. I haven't seen him in three months. It's set up this way so that there is so much misinformation out there that eventually we as a society start to believe like, is this virus over? But again, we don't have any leadership or anyone to really listen to. The head of our country, the president, says it's gonna go away, it's gonna disappear. We need to reopen, put kids in schools. Whether it's to get the economy back up and running again or to put on the appearance that nothing's wrong so that people don't blame him for this chaotic mess that he's enabled and created. And he also is using the deaths to say that China is killing people. He's doing the same tactics that he did in 2016, blaming China, blaming outer countries for bringing the problems into our country when that's just a terrible excuse, man. China doesn't even have the virus anymore. It's just the American virus. That's it. You've got to ask yourself, why do we still have the virus going on? Why are cases spiking? Why are deaths still going up at such a steep trajectory? He's threatening healthcare being taken away too, which for some reason, these Republicans want to take away the healthcare from Americans that are sick and dying from coronavirus and have no money because they don't have any jobs because Donald Trump wouldn't control the virus that led to the shutdown of the economy. And he doesn't wear a mask, so he causes his supporters not to wear masks and spread the virus and kill more people, thus leading to a worse economy. And there's no other explanation other than he wants it to be this way. More deaths, more fear, more exploitation. He's very manipulative. He would kill to reelect. He's proven it. Could it get any worse? I probably shouldn't ask that because it always does. Ugh. Anyways, guys, stay safe. Keep wearing your mask. Why do you think Trump is so unaffected by these deaths? Let me know in the comments. Please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will continue to uncover the truth.